What is up, you guys? It is me again. Liquid Death Mountain Water. Alrighty. So, let's cut into this video. This video will consist of me talking about do not be disappointed when the things of this world are not found in heaven. So, what do I mean by that? Well, what do you like doing? Do you like playing video games? I like playing video games, just not the violent ones like Call of Duty and I I don't I play GTA 5, but I don't really kill any other players or do anything violent or anything like that much. Um I don't watch horror movies anymore. The Lord has delivered me from all that stuff. Um, I am struggling. I Like yesterday, I was feeling down because I do. My body still wants energy drinks, but um, I can't have energy drinks. You know, guys know because it messes with my mental health and... When I have high amounts of caffeine, that's all my body wants is um, all the caffeine that what my body wants is high amounts, like 300 mg, like bang energy or something like that. Um, I can't drink them because it'll mess my mental health and it'll put suicidal thoughts and tendencies and temptations and intentions in my mind by escalating my depression. Um, so, I can't have, I can't have those because my suicide attempt in summer of last year um, was actually caused by drinking nine Bang Energy drinks um, every day. For nine days. One a day for nine days. Um, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of down. Because I'm craving energy drinks. And I, I can't have them. Um, I gave my dad my EBT card. Uh, you guys know I'm autistic. So. Um, I get EBT. Uh, food stamps. Um, and I gave my dad my food stamp card. Um, so I can't go to the store. You know, walk to the store and buy energy drinks like I used to. Um, and, yeah, I'm craving them. And um, so, yeah. Um, but, all right, let's cut into the video, shall we? You know, there's not going to be any video games in heaven. There's not going to be any energy drinks in heaven. There's not going to be any marijuana in heaven for those who smoke pot. Um there's not going to be any sex in heaven for those who enjoy having sex. There's no, there's not going to be any of that in heaven. So you're like, well, how is heaven going to be good then? When there's not any fun things that we have fun doing here on earth. Well, because we will be basking and we will be in the direct presence of and infinite glory, infinite love and peace of Father God, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit for eternity. Um, in heaven and on the new earth. So, it won't matter. Because, have you ever felt the Holy Spirit's presence? The presence of God? The presence of God is so powerful that it brings you to your knees. It brings you to your knees in a worship pose like this. It literally thrusts you down onto your knees. And that just right there is less than a microscopic amount of the glory and the peace and the love and the power of God that we feel when we experience that here on earth. Imagine the one, the percentage of it we're going to feel in heaven. The whole thing. Infinite. Since God is infinite, 
His glory is infinite. His peace is infinite. His love is infinite. We're going to be feeling it all. Every second for eternity. And it, we don't deserve it. It's only because of what his son Jesus Christ did for us on the cross 2,000 years ago that we have entrance into heaven. We can't deserve it. We can't earn it. It's only because of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Thank you. Yo, know, so... It is only through Jesus' sacrifice that we have the forgiveness for our sins and that we have salvation if we put our faith and trust only in Jesus, not ourselves, not our works, not other people, not other religions, not other gods, because there's only one God. We will be saved if we only put our faith in Jesus Christ and believe in his sacrifice and atoning work on the cross 2,000 years ago for our sins. Yet the entire world, half more than half of the entire world, is going to reject Jesus Christ. After he hung there on the cross, bleeding to death, panic attacks, in agonizing pain, beaten beyond recognition, recognition his spinal cord was probably shown from all the whips... He was bleeding out to death, pouring blood out. Probably his ribs were even shown. And yet, people still choose evil over Jesus. People hate Jesus. They hate God. They love evil. They love the devil. And they love sin. Jesus Christ did all that for you on the cross. And yet, these people hate him and they reject him. Well, that's their decision. That's perfectly okay for them to do because it's their choice where they're going to spend eternity. God gave us the option where we want to, the choice where we want to spend eternity heaven or hell. So, you know, Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. If you believe in Jesus' sacrifice for your sins, his work on the cross that was real, that he is who he says he is, that he is the son of God and God in the flesh even, and accept him as your Lord and Savior, he will fill you with the Holy Spirit. He'll make you a born-again Christian and a child of God. So, I can't express it. Like, it's just horrendous how people can reject such... They, God is love. God is love, and people hate love. And they rather spend eternity in hell in the lake of fire than heaven with God. God went through all that to save us from hell, yet most of the world is going to end up in hell. So, because Jesus Christ says, many are going to hell but few are going to heaven. Broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many go by it. Narrow is the road that leaves, leads to eternal life, and few find it. So there's more people on their way to hell, going to hell, a lot more people, you know, in the graveyards. Um, people, like 200,000 people die every day. Most of those people are going to hell. Because Jesus says many are going to hell and few are going to heaven. So, I just want to
um, make this video. You're not going to be disappointed in heaven when you see that the stuff that you like to do on this in this world isn't there. I mean, if you like, if you love glorifying and worshiping God, that's obviously going to be he in heaven. But if you're doing that and also playing video games, there's not going to be any video games in heaven. There's not going to be any games, any video games in heaven. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You will not be disappointed in heaven.